Alrighty, we have a double pole breaker that doesn't seem like it has any power on it because we'll take our tester and it doesn't show anything, but all the other double pole breakers are showing there's power. And all our single pole breakers, well, maybe not that one because these are older and maybe the contacts are in a different place. So we're going to take that out and we're going to put a new one in. We'll take this tester and check the ground and see for sure and make sure this breaker is not working. So we'll check one side. There is no power. And there's no power on this one either. But these, this one shows power as you can see that light is lighting. So we're going to unhook this one we're going to take out. Pull it off, pull into our screws here, now since they're using this white wire as a live wire, we have to uh, remark it live and we'll use some uh, red tape here. And if you look at it closely, it's made here in the country I was born in. That's a nice thing to see. So we'll remark this tape, the white wire live. You can either use red or blue. This is just a show people that this wire is being used for live rather than a neutral. And we'll take this breaker out. And we're going to use our uh, Robertson uh, square head screwdriver to tighten our terminals down so okay, we'll strip these back cut these back a little bit because they're a little long you don't want to have too much copper sticking out behind your breakers and uh, clean the strip ends see how the uh, they're kind of nasty looking there like somebody stripped them with a pocket knife so we're going to give them Nice clean strips here. There we go. And we'll put our... Okay, so our black one is going to be on the top here. It doesn't matter, but one is longer than the other so we put it in make sure we don't get our insulation caught under our terminal so we'll tighten our, our number two screwdriver here make sure it's nice and tight and we'll stick our remarked white wire in here make sure our insulation get in shorten that up a little bit here and our wire is kind of uneven here on the end so I'll just straighten that out Okay, there's what we want. We don't want 
too much copper showing above it. We don't want too much. We, you know, we don't want to get the insulation pinched under the uh, terminal. So we'll just tighten this up. Make sure it's in the off position. And now we can stick our breaker into the box. So we'll get it in. Get our little bottom hooks hooked in here. Push it in like that. And we can turn it, make sure it's on. And now we can go ahead and uh, put our cover back on. Where did I set the cover screws? I put one here and one here so I don't hit a wire. We're all looking to see my other screws in here if I can't find them. It's always a joy to look for stuff, isn't it? If you don't find them, you don't find them. You don't get upset. You don't carry on. You just go get some more. It's amazing how things can be in your hand one minute and gone the next. But that's how it is. You don't let it bother you. You don't get upset. But here it is. So I'll put the one down here that had a point on it because there's no wires. We'll put our other one up here. So I'll put this one right here. Okay, make sure it's nice and tight, and we'll just make sure our breakers are in properly here. Making sure we're, yeah. Those are just, okay, that one's in, that one's in. So, we are all set. Peace. Thanks for watching. Boy, these cats are all so lovable.